Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. I can't think of one reason why he would hang himself or be killed. Can you, D'Anthony? No. I mean, it's, it boggles the mind, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Normal dude. Totally normal, yeah. Nothing going on. Definitely, wasn't friends with anyone. Well, he definitely didn't know anything secret or personal about anybody else. Nope. Not sure us. Uh, yeah, he got murdered. So anyways. <laughs> um, really? Yeah, is that your honest opinion that he got murdered? Do you murdered? really think that? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. I, yeah. So I can't, I can't tell. You, you and I were talking about this. Either someone said, hey, <clears throat> you've got to fucking kill yourself and we're going to give you this window of time. Yeah. Or... Someone came in and murdered him. The, the, the problem I have with the murder theory is this. There is cameras outside of the cell. Not inside. You can't see what was going on in there, obviously. But that's normal. Right. That's normal. If somebody murdered him, there would be footage no. of him going inside if the it's cell. A, if it's an inside job, then, then uh, and it would have to be. Uh, if, you're, if, you're, if your premise is that he got murdered, it has to be an inside job. It's the only way it works. Right. Like a... a an inmate's not going to have keys to the place, but a, a small piece of hardware with the right kind of software on it can fucking loop that, that uh, closed circuit TV easy, man. This is like that shit's been going on forever. That's not very difficult to do that kind of stuff. Technology's there. Or? Technology's not there and it's exploitable and that's why. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So I, that, that part to me is a non-factor at all. Uh, so the footage you don't want to see at all. Cause I, to don't me, I don't no. care. I don't care. No. To no. me, I, it will if tell you, you showed nothing. that and there was nobody out there, I'd be like, eh, all right. Yeah, but again, like he's saying, you can't really trust that. But there, was, there had to have been some log, and you would know about this better than me, right? Mm -hmm. That uh, a jailer, I, I, I don't know if that's from fucking Andy Griffith or... They're uh, definitely that's actually not the, still the jailers, term. But yeah. Eh, they're prison, jailers. prison guard. Yeah, prison they're, guard. they're called jailers. Um, the skeleton mm. keys they probably still <laughs> use. Um, one would think that there's got to be a log where you have to sign in that said, hey, I checked on yeah, they faked cell them. block four, I, four at a certain so, time. So the two guards, this is the story right now. One, here, let's run through a couple of details. One, we know that the protocols for post-suicide watch, including that he would be uh, checked on every 30 minutes. This is after being on suicide watch. He still gets checked on every 30 minutes. Okay. He's in a cell without the proper equipment, for lack of a better phrase, to kill himself. And supposedly, how long supposedly. does that go on, the, the checking every 30 minutes? Uh, it's supposed to go on in the perpetuity, what? basically. If, the whole time after? Yeah. 24 hours, right? Yeah, I mean, that's their job. It's not like a, a burden to them. That's what they're supposed to be doing. I know. I'm just saying if you're taken off suicide watch, my question would be how long do you have to be on the 30 well, he's, minutes until they go back to... Right. Uh, I don't know about that. Right. I can't speak to that definitively. Okay. But... Uh, he had just been taken off. So. Yeah. He had just been taken off. The other part of that is that you're, you are mandated to have a cellmate. Because people are less likely to try and kill themselves if there's another guy in the room, mm -hmm. right. apparently. Um, and now we know that this motherfucker, like, they pulled the cellmate out. I mean, just the timeline of events is so sketchy. The documents get released. Several hours later, they pull his cellmate for still as yet unknown re reasons. Mm -hmm. And three hours go by without the guards checking him. They fake their log entry saying they did check, but they didn't because they were sleeping, supposedly. And then he's dead. Like, come on, man. That's too many things that happened. There's too many coincidences that happened that led to this shit. I don't believe that. Look, uh, I agree with you. I think something happened, uh, but I don't know what it was. Uh, whether somebody came in and said, hey, man, these documents just came out. Because he, 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 he wouldn't know. He doesn't have access have to known, the internet. No. Um, no. Uh, so there was another report that this had happened before with some other guard mm. or some Turkish gold fucking money did you hear that mm -mm. and another inmate was killed <laughs> um mysteriously as well i wonder if if somebody had gone in and paid them off and said hey man go in and do this or x y and z i i don't know with this one but the to me i think all of this is too late now that the feds have all this evidence that it was over a million pages yeah it seems like hour by hour day by day more shit keeps getting leaked yeah. From this case and from him as a person, today there was uh, tapes of him on the island being interviewed or about to be interviewed, and they were rolling before, and he was talking about his lifestyle and how you know he, he didn't understand uh, why he couldn't live his life a certain way when he owned this island and right. other shit. Uh, there's other reports out there that he's Pedophile written, Island? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that he's written detailed uh, journals 
about his interactions with all these fucking people that he's worked with over the years. Um, I would a, have a hard time believing that those wouldn't come out. The feds raided the island. Why would you have a hard time believing they wouldn't come out? Oh, that, 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 that someone be, would seal these away? Yeah. I don't think today, with how valuable information is, like WikiLeaks and all this mm -hmm. other shit, right? That financially or monetarily, there is nothing to gain from this. Because now, if you're, let's say there's something in these journals about Bill Clinton or the Clintons, hypothetically, because I don't want to be killed on this show during the show. It's, we're live on YouTube, and I don't want to be killed during this, right? Okay. Um, what's to stop someone from the right, right, Republicans, mm. from paying top dollar for this? Because during the election, you're trying to get dirt on everybody, and you're paying top dollar for any fucking right. thing you can get your hands on. Yeah, this, for sure. It's opposition research. Yes. Yeah. So I think most of this shit will come out. It's too high, it's too high profile. Uh, look, Kennedy has been dead for... 55 56 years now yeah and we still don't know what the fuck happened so i think the bigger the case is the less likely we are to get all the information honestly particularly when there's people in power right now there's federal judges who are appointed by certain presidents there's a sitting president right now who has interests of his own mm -hmm. um and i just don't i don't trust the government to release accurate information any more than I trust them to tell me who should and shouldn't own a firearm, for example. Right. Because I think anybody that gets in a position of power like that is going to abuse that power at some point. And look, if, if Donald Trump knows there's something about him and in in that shit, it's never going to see the light of day. I guarantee you that. Correct. That shit's probably getting destroyed right now. I'm not saying there is, by the way. I don't know. Well, so I, don't, he, I don't think there is because he just doesn't come off as that kind of guy, to be honest. No, and to that point, <clears throat> um, well, I mean, he's talking about grabbing people by the pussy, but whatever, man. But uh, like he's talking about grabbing women. Women. ladies yeah. by the pussy. Yeah. Ladies, yeah, women. Ladies, not little girls. Little kids, yeah, because um, he's got kids, obviously. But yeah. even he's been retweeting some of these conspiracy theories, Yeah, which is interesting. So that leads me to believe. to keep you on your toes. Well, but it also leads me to believe that he's got nothing to do with it, because otherwise you would want to kill that yeah. and not deal with any of that shit. But to me, this could be the Republicans' Russia hoax, where... You could keep this fucking thing going that it just keeps eating up the news. The more and more that it's out there, the less and less people care about the actual candidates who are running yeah. from the Democratic <laughs> side. And, you know, quietly today, Elizabeth Warren just took the lead in Iowa. And that's fucking buried, bro. Uh, you're talking about bones being broken in a, uh, you know, which bone and why was, was broken and why this is leaning more toward murder. Like, that's dominating the headlines rather than Elizabeth Warren taking the lead over Joe Biden in Iowa. Like, mm -hmm. I don't trust either story. Which, uh, <laughs> oh, that, that she's in the lead? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what to believe anymore. Uh, what I do know is uh, somebody took a screenshot inside Epstein's mansion of Bill Clinton painted in the White House wearing Monica Lewinsky's dress in high heels. Yeah, that's heels. pretty rad. Um, what the fuck is that? I don't know. It's man. abstract. It's, it's art. It's, it's interesting. I mean, look it up. I'm assuming that uh, that um, they're bros. That he knows about it. Clinton has seen it. Probably he's been to that island, right? Uh, look, supposedly, yeah. That's right? the other thing yeah, too. Yeah, is yeah. The, you know you got that Lolita sex plane. Yeah. The rumor it started off as a rumor from what they thought was from Alex Jones, right? Alex Jones was hammering down oh, Lolita plane. They're all on there. They're all having sex on there. And he was right, apparently. He was right. And th now the logs have come out, and Clinton's name was on the the, the log for for this particular plane twenty nine times. So, was it a mixed use? Yeah, yeah, plane, exactly. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know anything. But I, again, day by day, hour by hour, more information keeps yeah. coming out. I mean, the neck breaking thing is a big deal because only 25% of people who get strangled, or I'm sorry, who, uh, who hang themselves mm -hmm. have this bone in the front of their neck broken. So that makes it, I mean, just statistically speaking, that's not a conspiracy theory. It's statistically more likely that he was strangled by someone else from behind. That's how you break. That's how this gets broken. Not by strangling yourself. I mean, if you did, there, there's several types of hanging. One is a high drop. It's a five foot drop, basically. Okay. And it's what you see in westerns and shit like that. They put a noose around your neck that has a slip knot on it, and you get uh, 
you fall and the the breaks torque your breaks your neck, right? And then you you go brain dead within a couple of minutes, but you go unconscious immediately. It's supposed to be the more humane version. Then there's a short drop, like a little stool or something, right? And you strangle to death. Typically. So you're just like gasping for air and trying yeah. to like. Yeah. And that one usually doesn't break any bones. Sometimes it breaks this one. Sometimes, but like you said, that's rare. Uh, not rare, but 25%. I mean, that's not that high. Uh, and then there's actual strangulation, and that's where someone is applying graduated force. It's not constant. It's not like I. It's not like the wire where homeboy puts the fucking. Uh, uh, how he tried to fake it. You put the belt around his neck and then lean him forward. That shit doesn't break your fucking this bone right here. And that's how most people sh- kill themselves. So uh, I, I just don't, I don't believe. And so if any it's of from shit. the bed, he's having to like sit down. He's got a single story bed, right? Go, so it's like, yeah, and it's, gradually, not, it's not bunk beds like, and, and yeah. a thing like that. It's two beds mm-hmm. on either side of the thing. And uh, so he's there's nothing high for him to hang himself. I always on. thought it was bunk beds. It's not. Not not for a room like that. No. Not not for uh, what so do you call then it? How did he do it? I mean, yeah, he, well, that, well, that's well, a good question. It could have been on the bars. Maybe they're a little higher, but I don't know. Uh, but usually in those uh, protective custody, at least the pictures I've seen, because I've been looking at pictures the last couple of days. Mm-hmm. Maybe a drinker bro as a prison guard can chime in on this on the on the comments on YouTube. But the the ones I've seen for protective custody are single beds next to each other. Okay. Um, at any rate... I, I wonder if a drinking bro was actually, is actually working in that cell. And the reason why I say this is, <clears throat> remember the Aaron Hernandez one? Yeah. We had set it on air, and the guard, he called in, I think, yeah. less than 12 hours after the show came out and was working, and yeah. he gave us the full <clears throat> one on and all that shit. Yeah, I mean, he was in a cell with somebody else, right? He was in a cell with somebody else. I think there was double yeah. bed. And sure he, he like put bed. soap down or something, and so that he couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Stand up. He, he wasn't the, a. Uh, yeah, you'll fight it naturally. But he was. You'll by fight himself. it like your body yeah. will so, yeah. push yeah. you up. It does um, not want to die. But he was. I mean, Epstein was by himself too, and shouldn't have been. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, none of this stuff makes a whole lot of sense to me, to be honest. Um, there's other stuff too, like the mistress Maxwell. Yes. So his number, Epstein's number two. She was at Chelsea Madam. Clinton's wedding. Yes. Why? Like, I, I understand Epstein being at these events, but how did he explain who this woman was to people such that he, he, she got invited to, like, one of the highest profile weddings in America in a very long time? Yeah, when I saw the picture they of that. They knew who she was, and then she was also a socialite in her own right. But, yeah. Got it. She was also kind of hot. Like, you know? Well, she was British, and she was very, like, refined. and Yeah. She, she got in there. They were a package deal. So if you do see her somewhere, mm-hmm. I think the people that invited her knew exactly who she was. Do you know what I'm saying? You would have to think that. And then because you'd be like, oh, who is this? So the next question is, she's a how long is she well. going to be alive? So that was my question on the on our emergency pod yeah. podcast yeah. for this was she's got to be next, right? She has to be next. That was my prediction. But at the same time. She got, I think she got granted immunity in the last case that was first against her. It's not about immunity, though. It's oh, no, I mean, getting suicided. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, that's and, what I'm saying. So she they found her actually right in this like remote island with a tech CEO because they are looking for her. And oh, they did is, find her. Yeah. OK, I didn't I didn't know that either. And yeah, that because that, that, that was also mysterious to me was, you and then know, they started. Consp- if you can't find her. Why not just not be able to find her forever? Yeah. I mean, look, if somebody found her before the government did, she would be dead, I imagine. Yeah. Um, and look like what you're saying about the, the government already having those documents, unless it's actual audio and video recording of people's voices and faces, those documents don't mean shit. Like, they may make someone look bad in public, but they're not going to result in any crimes unless you have somebody to corroborate that story yeah. and draw a timeline. Epstein being dead kills all of that unless Maxwell testifies, and they know that, dude. Yeah. Who, if anybody had anything to do with his death and it's not just suicide, that woman is going to die very soon. Yeah, I, I don't know where she is currently or where she will be, but, uh, man, if I were her, yeah. I wouldn't be having a great Thursday right now. Yeah, well, that was my question when this all first came out. I'm like, where is this girl? Because she has got to be fucking shitting her pants. Her pants right now, yeah. 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 Her pantsuit. 
because a, a lot of this info that is coming out is is more geared toward the Clintons. Um, it is so far, and I don't know if that's because. Um, I mean, definitely the press is not more pro Trump than they are pro Clinton. That's not true, right? Uh, they've coddled her for the most part over the last six to eight years, and he's been hammered every day, well, relentlessly. Yeah. Um, and I mean, obviously the right wing press is going to be hard on the Clintons, but maybe it's just because the <clears throat> the right has its shit together a little more when it comes to propaganda. Like maybe that's why, but I don't hear shit. Like I, the only thing I hear about Trump, I see one doctored picture of him. Have you seen that? It's him and Epstein and some girl, but it's not a real picture. Somebody actually yeah, somebody's a little kid it. or something. Yeah, yeah. It got photoshopped. That that picture's not real. Actually, yeah. uh, what's his name? Rappaport posted it yesterday. He did, yeah. Like it's a real thing. Like, dude, you've got millions of fucking followers, and at least half of them who agree with you politically now think that's real. You're a piece of shit for posting that. And did not, he? He didn't did say he take it, was it down. Joke. I don't know if he took it down or not, but that's a real fucked up thing to do. Like, this is a fake news show and all, but we're not trying to spread disinformation. Yeah, it's, it's strange to me where, mm-hmm. you know, we're in a era now of this deep fake. Yeah. Right? Every, everything is a, a deep fake. You know, you could put voices to other people's sh- mouths and uh, look to Photoshop pictures. Super easy. It's not very difficult, no. No. Um, so I didn't know that was fake, actually. Yeah. I really didn't. That I, what? That, 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 the, the photo that uh, Rappaport posted. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, um, I mean, that's, look, I'm, I'm kind of with Charles Barkley. Like, we do a lot of fucked up shit on this show, so we're not role models by any stretch of the imagination. But if you're talking to millions of people a day like we are, yeah. you can't fucking say shit like that or do shit like that. You can't, you can't stand behind incorrect shit. I mean, if you, if you, we may as well just go work for CNN if we're going to do that. You well, know what I mean? Up. They're going to be looking for a couple anchors soon, so. Uh, I don't think so. (laughs)